We destroyed Chris Cargo. Great. I'll send you a medal. Now, if you don't mind, I'm on a deadline, so scram. Are you always this difficult? Let me handle this, Jack. Listen, lady, we beat your stupid course, and we can outrace anybody in this city. Wait, that voice. Now, there's just two <gasps> things you need to know. One, we don't want to join your stinking race team. And two, you just lost a date with Orange Lightning. Let's go, Jack. Orange Lightning, That's it's a brand, a way of life. Sure, uh, Oh, I never thought I'd be so glad to see your furry mug. Well, didn't see that one coming, did you? You hmm? look different. It's been a tough ride. The Baron pumped our boy here full of dark eco, and it did something to him. Now he's got super moves or something, and a few anger issues as well. I've been looking for you guys forever, and planning a way to get us back home. Somehow that rift took us far into the future. I've calculated the time displacement, and we I found think your I've father. Got well, sort of. Working with the underground, fighting the Baron. But he's, uh, what? You need to go see him. And I need to get to the Baron. You could try to win the Class 1 Racing Championship. The winner of that big race always gets to meet the Baron in the palace. But you have to qualify by winning the lower class races. Interesting. There's a Class 3 race starting soon. You could drive for my team. But Jack, we should think about getting out of here. I don't like this place. And some of the people are creepy. Jack, my boy, I need that one key you found, eh? A special client has requested it. Speaking of creepy Sorry, people, crew. <laughs> I must have forgotten. How did he get out of the door anyway? I thought that was what was keeping him inside all the time. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the, welcome back to the walkthrough. And this should be part Attention, twenty-two by now. Uh, yeah. Class three race is about to begin. And we've got our first race. A first, like, official race, I suppose you could call it. Daxter's voice is after all recognisable everywhere. Sort of like Clank's voice as well. Daxter and Clank both have these voices. I mean, when you hear them, if you know what they are, you're like, yeah, I recognise that. Whereas, unlike Jack, you, you, you just think of big, tall, angry male who probably wants to wreck havoc. Anyway. I suppose Haven City is quite creepy in comparison to, like, say, Sandover Village, which is quite an innocent tranquil setting. I like the word tranquil, I've used it twice like in these last two parts. Anyway, here we go, our first race. The controls are always a little bit awkward for me, or maybe it's just the fact that I'm a very bad driver. We'll soon, soon, soon see how I fare though. Get ahead. It's probably take me a couple of goes, be prepared for some terrible driving. Damn Mr. Thing, try it anyway. Damn it. Take two. Right, go right through the boosts. Great move there, don't do that. But see, the controls are really awkward for me, and they just. E. Okay, trying to get the gold, silver, and bronze time is going to be very interesting. Mm. Tell you the truth. Sign. Well, there's still a few laps to go, so wherever I can maintain this. Let's take things slowly. I haven't got to rush things now. Well, that's a bit. That was close. <laughs> I like that jump. That was a photo finish jump, I think. That's the main shortcut there. Um, you have to be very careful, it's a very risky move. If you miss it, that's the whole race scuppered. 
no retry or as in like you start again from your the position there you simply just lose the race and fail the mission so be careful it's one thing I've learned doing it so many times this is life that burn on the head so that's a good sign get his last jump in that's good it's the tricky part over Oh, that was close. <laughs> Tiny little bump, Jack. Surely you can take a little bump. Okay. Two minutes forty. Yeah. Wonder how that equates to timing. Well, I didn't get any of the timing things there. Anyway, first race done. That's a good start. When is this city gonna provide some challenge, huh? Hey. I watched your race today. Hello. You were pretty amazing out there. <laughs> oh, well, hello there. <laughs> thanks. Uh, Kira, uh, this is Ashlyn. She's just... Everyone knows who she is. And Kira's... A, a friend. A very good friend. Thanks for helping out with that tanker, Jack. You saved a lot of lives. <laughs> I'm not my father, you know. Ever since I was a little girl, I've looked down at the city streets from that ridiculous palace. And imagined a better place. Oh, I'm very touched. By the way, they're hunting for you. <laughs> Please change your tone. Arrow. I can't protect you from him. Woo, she's a Betty. And she likes you, Jack. Not that I can account for her tastes. I bet you'd love to pin some medals on her chest, huh? <laughs> what? What'd I say? What did you say, Jack? Honestly. They just found Kier. We've already pissed her off, thanks to Daxter. It's always Daxter, isn't it? Always Daxter, indeed. Right, so we're going to do that, um, that annoying get the seal piece. Because otherwise it's just going to sit there teasing me, saying, you've not done me yet. It's, it's definitely got to be my highest mission overall in this game. So that's certainly a good point once we've managed to get it done. But uh, all the same, it's not going to be easy. Do my best, though. Anyway, I don't understand why Ashley couldn't have come and give us a bit more of a congratulations um, whilst we were actually there. You know, just after we met, we saved her and the, and well, what was left of the area from the metalheads. Oh god, I just killed him. I just killed someone. That's good. As in, not good. <laughs> but yeah, now we have just run a race and she's like all over us. Oh, I see how she plays her game. I don't like it. I'm not rolling your dice. But anyway, comes the guards of us, which isn't good. But to be honest, they're going to be after us in a minute, as those of you who play the game know. So, might as well get them in the mood. The thing is, try to remember how to get out of here. Because basically, in this mission, which is going to be annoying, uh, you have to basically get from one side of the slums to the other without getting killed or dying. Which is exactly the same thing, because I don't know what I was saying there. But yep, it's rather tricky, to say the least. But I will make, make it my best efforts, indeed. So it's right at the back here. This is Britta's little house at the back. And here we have the little seal piece. Present piece of seal, yes? Nice and shiny, huh? All yours. Oh. Sweet. This is how I do it. I do the very silly sort of way. I do the jet board way. We're going to be doing things out here the umbridge way. Okay, so I'm going to want to go left. Okay, see what I've got to go first. The key is to keep an eye on the map. Might be a slow way to do it, I suppose. As in, so they have to keep checking the map, but at least you know where you're going. So, along, left, left, right, left. Wait, no. Right, left, right. <laughs> Complete opposite, because I'm looking, of course, I'm facing down, aren't I? I think if you get stopped by them once, you're going to get stopped by them again. You have to be very careful because you can't fall off into the uh, water. Otherwise, they will kill you. Like that. Damn it. You 
You've got to do it before the guards start to get out, because otherwise, no, no, no chance at all, so you've got to be really quick. I sort of know where I'm going now, anyway. There. there we go. And like that, it takes a couple of seconds. <laughs> I love that. You love shiny things. Yep, Bruto, you do decide our opinion for us. Why not? So, yeah, you can either spend ages. Shooting everyone, most ammunition. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Or use the jet board. It might sound hard, but as I proved there, it wasn't amazingly difficult. It's just have to keep on your toes, because if you, if you slow down, you're gonna, you're gonna run into the guards, and it's all gonna go tits up. So, just keep one step ahead. No, roughly the way. It isn't that hard to work out the route. I mean, I managed to do it. I mean, that first little bit there, I was just like, oh god, I'm not gonna find my way out of here without using the map. But I soon managed to get rid of um, us get rid of the guards. I got rid of the guards and I found my way out. So, Bingo, what's his name, am I? Nothing too taxing or whatsoever. And I'm now going to go and do a little side mission here that I missed on the way back there because I was so focused on getting this uh, that annoying task done. And then we'll go and see on it. Okay, it's just one so that's not very helpful. No distinct landmark there really. Well I'm s <laughs> that failed. <laughs> anyway, I, I I seem to be suffering from a lot of glitches recently. Okay. Oh it's right there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I went straight past it. Oh dear. Okay, that's one. That's one done then. Blah. That's that one done. I think there's another little side mission on the way to Onins, which we'll do as well. Cause we're doing a wipe of time, I think. I managed to get two missions done this. Two missions done this, but I need to speak more slowly. Um, so that's a good sign. I should probably have kept a tally on the amount of vehicles that I've wrecked so far. Yeah, it'd probably be quite an impressive figure. Anyway. You hear that everywhere you go as well, which is quite funny. I hate this this part of the city. You move on. I hate this this part of the city. It all smells, smells, smells. You can't help it. Stylish. <laughs> I can't see any assumptions yet. Oh, and I just killed a guard. Or injured him at least. But that's not going to be pretty. Well, I would have done a little task there, but you know, the guards are after me now, so I'll leave it for the next part. <laughs> 